evening nyo. Wala na lang. Amen? Tonight is uh, our last uh, chance to uh, bring our heart's desire. Our uh, heart's desire for our desires natin. This morning, si Pastor Jay, sinare niya sa atin yung patungkol sa heart's desire. Kasi ba, meron tayong mga kasama ng ito na first time nyo pala ng uh, heart's desire for uh, year 2020. Ang heart's desire, hindi po ito yung New Year's resolution nyo. Okay, iba po yun. Ang heart's desire, and yes, you never did yung Pastor James, hindi ito yung wish list po, or yung parang gusto mong pakuha sa Pasko. Ito yung mga hindi ko, ito yung mga nakuha ko ng December. O yung uh, gusto kong makuha. Ito yung mga listahan ng mga gusto kong ano, mangyari. Pero alam mo kanina kung bakit napakaganda na tinalakay natin yung patungkol dito. At uh, mamaya, uh, habang ginagawa niyo yung inyong heart's desire, by the way, sino po yung mayroong uh, heart's desire form na? Ay, yun yung wala ka. Wala ka. Wala ka. Wala ka. Wala ka.
Hearts is at 2020, we like it, but I want to present. And then, pag-i-pray po natin itong ating hearts is at 2019. And then, of course, isipin na natin. And Pastor Bob will pray po sa ating 2019. Amen. Are you by bless?
for, for you and I and for us to understand, you know, um, a little process of the Why do we pray? Why do we do this? Uh, why, why do we make requests? Amen. Most people have this idea na kapag ka ikaw ay nag, nag, nag pray o may nihina sa Panginoon, may kailangan ka, basta simple, you know, um, umumihin ka na, ganun lang sa kasimple. It's actually not like that at all. Okay? So let me explain to you the mechanics of getting your prayers answered. Ano yung sabihin nun? How can I answer, get the answer we, as Pastor Bob said, ready na, you know, of God answers our prayers with, with, with a yes or a no or a wait, maging pray ka. Alright? But right now, flat out from the very beginning, as I said this morning, no matter how we think or how we understand, God's no will always be better than our yes. It's a simple fact. You hindi ang pagtutuloy ng Panginoon dun sa prayer request mo, sa kinagustuhan mo, will always be better than your yes. Can't thank God because there are a lot of things that God said no to in my life. The years later, I said, Oh Lord, thank you, salamat po. Hindi mo binigay yun. No? Oh Lord, salamat po. Dahil ganito. There are so many decisions that I have made or did not make. And, and God said no. And I praise God He said no. Kasi kung ako lang yung magsusunod, I will do whatever I want and make decisions basta gusto ko. That's just who we are. We're short-sighted. But pastor, it says here in Psalm chapter 37, ang inaw sabi, take the life of the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Oh, kita mo, mas to. Muli ka. Kasi, God will give you. Meron pa yung bang, meron sila. Ask and you will receive. No? Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Oh, di ba, Pastor? Mayroon lang sa Bible nyo. Iba naman, ang Old Testament naman sila. For I know the plans I have for you, said the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you, to give you hope in the future. Oh, di ba, Pastor? Tama. Ibig sabihin, you know, God has come to give you life and I have it more abundantly. And all those things are true. But yet, they are qualified under the Bible, what the Bible says. Totoo po lahat ng yung sinasabi na yun. Ngunit, okay, meron mo ngunit yun eh. Daya ng maso, nagpangako-pangako siya, bigay pa ako naman. Hindi ganun. Madalas, hindi lang natin tayo titihan. Maraming magulang sa building na ito ngayong gabi. I don't know of one parent who is, wishes ill will towards his child. Nabisi ka kayo umaga bilang magulang, sabi mo, ngayong araw ito, wawasakin ko ang buhay na lang ako. Nobody says that. Okay? Nobody wishes that. Nobody wishes for your child to be miserable. You don't think that way. Is it not that old? Right? You want the best for your child. But, sometimes, what your child thinks is best for him, it's not the way you think is best for them. Bakit? Kasi magkaiba ang pananaw ng magulang at ang pananaw ng anak. Okay. Simple. Very simple. This is probably one of the most simple messages you will hear this year. But see, often, there's a misunderstanding pag sinabi getting prayers answered. Okay? Pero tayo hindi na hindi na mayroon disconnection sa, sa pagkasagod ng mga langit. Kaya iba sumasama ng tulog nito. You know? uh, and what are wrong understandings of, of praying to get answered? First one is, if you claim it, God will give it. I'm sorry, wala sa Bible yan. No? Now, I understand, bilang anak, you can claim it. Okay? But it doesn't mean God is obligated to give it to you right now. Right? Sabi ng mga anak ko sa akin natin, Dad, magka ba namatay ka? Yung mga lalo mo, pwede na namin gabitin. <laughs> Ang sabi ko sa kanya, mabushkin, buhay pa ako. <laughs> Pero sabi ko din naman, ito ba? He says, of course you can. Sa totoo lang, Whatever I have is already theirs. Tama ba? But the simple principle of age, mas maganda ako kaya sa kanila. There's a great likelihood, mas mauna ako punta sa langit kaya sa kanila. 
delights and is happy to be with. But it was in our pastor. Because when we come to God with selfish intentions, He will reject us. Uh, But he said what? The prayer of a righteous man is powerful. In fact, I, I belabored this point kind of matter. You know, ako magulang ko eh. Sa mga magulang lang dito. No? Hindi mo ba? Na kapag ka anak mo ay matino, nasa tamang pag-iisip. Kapag anak mo ay masumuri, Responsable, magala, ang sarap ng pagpalaki. Tama po ba? Di ba? Kaya yung mga bata, ang mga maraming ba, binibili mga tatay, mga natay, yung mga gamit, no? Ang mamahal. Binibilihan ng Air Jordan, samantalang buwan magpala, magbili na kasi. Pero bibilihin nila, kasi ang group, The child doesn't even know how to spend air. Let me enjoy that. Diba? Mumiti lang, ay, ang cute! Mumiti siya. Bilihan natin yung boche. Di ba na ako? May boche na. Diba? Right? Pag ang bata, pleasing, palatawa. Ang cute, no? Ang sarap pagpalain. Tama po ba yun? Diba? Pag ang anak,
his will first. Kaya para sa mga gulat din yan eh. Kaya maraming mga anak, hindi pinagpapala, pinuunahan ng kape ko eh. Tama ba? Ha? Kaya maraming mga anak, mga anak, hindi pinagpapala ng pagulat kasi inuutakan ko ng kape ko eh. Nakalimutan ko, sabi ko ng mga lolo, pagpunta ka pa lang, pabalik na sila. Inuutakan ko eh. I've been a pastor, I've been a blizzard of a school for many years. Sometimes, may pag-explain sa akin, alam ko yung takot mga hindi-hindi na ako. Lahat ko mga staff ko sa paligid, nakangiti na rin. Alam mo siya sabi nila, yari ko. Yari ko yung pastor ko. Kala nila ako na ako ang takot sa pastor. Yari yan. Sa mga anak ako ako niya, mga anak, tigilan nila, hindi nyo ako mga utaka. Dahil nagpray ko na sa Panginoon, nagabayan ako niya. Mahuhulit, mahuhulit ko rin niya. Kaya maraming hindi pinagpapala ng Panginoon. Yung papapala sa'yo, ano, parang masustain ka. Pero hindi mo papapala ang pinagbigay ng Panginoon kasi muta ka mo siya eh. Hindi sa kanyo eh. You think you can put one over God? Hindi ako pastor, naninigurado na ako. Wow, really? We are going to invest and be committed. To be invested, to commit your way, to trust in Him. Literally it means to choose to trust God for whatever it is you are asking for in your life. Trusting and leaning on His ability. Can it be like, commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will give you. If Mr. Literally, Toto Mohan, the Sabi mo Panginoon, pinipili ko mo yung gusto mo sa gusto mo. And I will follow you. Sometimes, as I said this morning, yung believing in the Lord sa atin comes in a package na ayaw natin. Sometimes it's in a hard package. Alam ko, there's many who say, sumunod ako sa Panginoon, Ginawa ko yung gusto niya. I did everything. Pastor, how come I didn't get what I prayed for? Sometimes, ang sagot ng Panginoon comes in a tough package. But understand. 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 It will always be to your good. Because if you miss the principle, you will not see the problem. What do you mean, Pastor? Can I pause it here? My concept to you, I said, share that with you. And then that is this. If every person in this building today will live out their lives, manage their time, handle their money, choose their direction, as if everything really belong to God. What an impact that will be. What an impact. If a mga tao who will live their lives, manage their time, handle their money, choose their direction, as if everything really belong to God. <clears throat> everything will belong to God. What a difference that would be. I explained this kind of umaga. Let me explain it further. Okay? Ah. Uh, ako. Meron ako mga piso bago. Sino po yung kawag may mga piso lumati? Wala. Wala rin. Sino po? Gusto ko bigyan ng lumati mga piso mga atlata ko mga galit. Ito meron ako mga piso bago. Sino po ang meron ano? Ah, uh, 20 or 50 pesos. Pagi, labas ang pagdinga. Meron ko ng 20 or 50 pesos. Pasol ko ang kasi hindi mas offering yan. Hindi ko yung yari tayo na. Sino po? Sino po? Wow! Anak, sabi yan. Yari po. Yan din ka. May pagkain mo lahat po. Sabi nyo rin. Kung ako po sa pagkain mo, ako punta lahat. Pansin yung magiging member ng pizza to. Okay. May pepente ka. Ayun, may pepente ka. Sino yung wala? Sino ba yung 500? Gusto mo ba? Oh, 
In Genesis chapter 1, what do you think about Verse 20. In Genesis chapter 1, Genesis creation of God. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Sorry, I just got 26, 26. It's not 26. Nag-uusap ang Trinity. Basahin natin sa mesa. Ready? Begin. And God said, and let us make man in our image. According to you. And they will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the animals of the earth, and the creatures and the world of the earth. And you guys, you can say that. Think of a story. What I'm saying is, the plan